Hey guys, I wanted to bring you a little comparison between the iPhone 5S and Samsung Galaxy S4. So after owning these phones for quite some time now, I can give you a little bit of an idea of how they stack up against each other if you guys are in the market for either one of these phones. So I'll give you the benefits and the cons of owning each one of these phones. Understandably, when you pick up the 5S, it's going to be a lot smaller than the S4 because the display on the S4 is 5 inches versus 4 of the iPhone 5S. And this makes the display slightly crisper on the 5S while the S4 display is OLED, which means it will be easier to read in bright sunlight and it'll drain less battery. So while that's not something you can really put a clear winner on, the S4 is more of a preference when it comes to display size. Now, although it may not look crisper to the untrained eye, the Samsung Galaxy S4 does feature a higher resolution and pixels per inch, which is at 441 versus 326 of the iPhone 5S. It just looks more concentrated on the 5S, so that's why it may appear sharper. Of all the people I've talked to and read about many prefer the 5s construction because it's made out of one block of aluminum it's basically a unibody design like the macbook pros versus the plastic exterior shell of the s4 so when you pick up a 5s it feels solid in your hand it doesn't feel creaky it doesn't feel plasticky it's also going to have a nice heft to it so it'll feel very good now in this comparison i'm not going to be going into software because software is subjective if you like ios you like ios there's no reconvincing you if you like the android interface there's that for you and also there's kitkat coming out 4.4 which will be a big thing for many android users as well so that's subjective i'm not going to be saying which one's better because that's that's all up to you. Now, I was surprised when it comes to running a Geekbench test because the iPhone 5S only has one gigabyte of RAM, while the S4 does have two, not too usable, but 1.78 that is usable by the system. So I'll go ahead and set this to run, and you guys may be surprised by the results. The iPhone 5S more than doubled the single core score of the S4, and it was miles ahead in the multi core score. So in terms of raw processing power, the S4 does look better on paper, however the 5S just kicks it to the curb. Now while the 5S is looking better in this test, it's not always so. I judge this more on general usability of the device versus the raw processing power, but I gotta say here the 5S is a definite winner. And here's just a quick test where I load Apple's website, the 5S loaded it faster initially, but while clicking on the second link, the S4 brought it up a little bit faster and it was usable in a faster time. Now generally though, you will notice that the 5S is snappier. In more applications, you'll have more processing power, which means you'll notice better performance all throughout the system and application. The iOS interface does look a lot cleaner, I gotta say, than Samsung Galaxy S4 with a 4.2 or 4.3 version because it doesn't have the touch whiz and the whole bunch of useless features that accompany it. So the iPhone 5S for me is a more usable device because of how clean the interface looks. However, that not may be your thing, so it's all up to you when it comes to the interface and the look of the device. Now the 5S camera is on top of the S4 below. As you can see, the color vibrance on the S4 is just unrealistic. It's overexposed and the focus is very slow. Now on the 5S, I love the video stabilization. It's just very solid. And when you turn it on on the S4, the image is cropped. It's cropped to where it just zooms in and it's very hard to do macro. The 2.2 aperture camera on the iPhone 5S is a clear winner for me, especially when recording video. So there it is, the iPhone 5S versus the S4. Apple definitely did catch up in terms of processing power. They added a couple new features like Touch ID, and they kept the profile very slim and the appearance very nice. Personally, I take the 5S. However, the rest, software-wise, is all up to you. I do hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Have a great day. Peace.